A little history on the French Breton sweater. Back in 1858, Napoleon decided that all his sailors in France needed to wear this sweater so that when they fell overboard, they'd be more easily found. Also a fun fact, it originally had 21 stripes to commemorate the 21 battles Napoleon had won. Note to self, throw a little lemon on with navy. And then in 1917, Coco Chanel got inspired. She saw all these sailors on the beaches and she decided to put it into her collection. At the time, it was revolutionary. And I just want to say a couple of things about this fantastic look. Take your small fitted t-shirt and put them with your evening skirts because you can wear them for day, especially with a running shoe. And look at this belt I had made on Etsy. I'll put it in the link for you. It's a little peplum. Another little tip. I found this bag in a market for $12. The color was sensational. So then I went to Joanne's green grosgrain ribbon. I just sewed it along the edges of the bag, the little bow. And look! Since then, designers have been turning the Breton stripe into all kinds of interesting silhouettes. This dress I got at J. Crew. They run something similar every season. So here's a style tip. Red looks amazing with the Breton stripe. And another little style tip. When you have a flat bag that's a crossbody or a shoulder bag, open it up, put both your straps coming out the same side of the flap, and wear it in the horizontal for a change. So en conclusion. Okay, I'm loving this outfit. The Breton stripe has become a neutral. Who knew? Like leopard. So don't be afraid to pair it with other patterns, as long as there's a little navy in it. Toodles.